Yo, what's good, everybody? This is Zach Pop here with the Solano College Sports Network. Got a very special guest. Finally learned how to pronounce the name right. Second baseman, Justin Clotin. How's it going, man? I'm pretty good. How are you doing today? Pretty good. So, you're going to be the starting second baseman, it looks like, for the Solano Falcons this season. What's been the biggest thing you worked on during the offseason, getting ready for the 2000, 2013 season? Uh, fundamentals in general, just the move over from the left side of the infield to second base was a little tough, but uh, after taking tons of reps every day, it's getting easier and easier for me. How hard has that been? Because we've seen a guy like a Hanley Ramirez who was playing third, had to move over to short. How hard of a, a transition is that for a position player to move to another position in the infield? It sounds a lot easier than it really is. Uh, just the view of the field changes dra drastically and just the change in general is really tough. So last year you've added 220, but had a, a great on-base percentage at 342. What's the biggest thing you're working offensively to get that average up from 220 like it was last season? Um, just instead of, I, I was feel like I was a dead pull hitter last year. Uh, Coach Stover's been working with me to be able to hit the ball to the right side. And through fall, he was trying to change my stance and it felt pretty good to me. How hard is that as a player, though, when you're getting your, your stance changed? How hard is it to kind of develop into the new stance that you're going with? How hard is that for a player? Is it more mental or is it kind of physical? Um, it's half and half. Yeah. Uh, Coach Dover knows what he's doing, and you know, I believe everything that he tells me. I buy into it all. And the mental aspect of it is knowing that Coach Dover is helping me. And just the physical part is just getting it done myself. So you know last year it's a ton of freshmen. I believe there's only like five or six sophomores on last year's team. How much does that help you guys get ready for this year? They have a lot of returning freshmen that are going to be sophomores now this season. Uh, I think it means a lot. They're, after not bringing the BVC back, we all have that blood in our mouth knowing that we want to bring it back. How much did that hurt you guys last year? Because yeah, I think you won four straight BVC titles, five straight playoff appearances. Um, it hurt a lot after watching my red shirt year, how they enjoyed it after and then coming back and not bringing it back is heartbreaking. It's, you get a little nervous here. You hear the crack of the bat. You're hoping the foul ball's not coming this way, right? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> well, luckily, I got a, a stud second baseman right here to be able to field it, right? Oh, you know. All right, so let's end this good. Super Bowl prediction, score and winner. 49ers 24, Ravens 17. You got to take a new score. Someone already took that. I'll give the Ravens 14 then. <laughs> there we go. All right. We're just going to start calling you JQ also. It's a lot That's easier, fine. all right? Second baseman, Falcons, Justin Quilton. Thanks for your time, man. Thank you.